What is going on guys? Welcome back another week another tier 7 PvP rewards That makes three in a row for me and that is the most I have ever done since playing this game And the last two weeks have been absolutely awful. So hopefully the third week is the charm We're gonna also open some ticket packs I think I have enough of four of them and we're also gonna go through everything that's happened I guess the past week because I am getting so very close to that behemoth tier Hopefully maybe if I get lucky today I think I might be able to make it. We did have the War Games event, new War Games event, and I actually kind of liked it. I mean, I actually kind of liked the event, but it was just way, way too much work for me. I think I gave up on Saturday, calculating that I would need to spend like 2,000 some odd credits and have to play like 100 games or something like that. It was a lot. Uh, obviously, it's nothing that you can't do, but it was just a little bit more work than I was willing to put in. But the game itself was all right. I don't know. Y'all will have to let me know. What did you think about the actual event itself in the comments and how were your rewards? We had a team Road to Glory, which we got through a breeze which is a lot better obviously going past the very first week of initial season 7 launch when we had all the low tier cards this time though it was definitely much easier let's talk about the christmas event christmas promo real quick how have your pulls been on the draft board i know there was kind of a debate why did they not do fusions this time and i thought to myself you know what a lot of people didn't do well on the fusions and maybe this will give them a chance to get better cards well i'm like the opposite of that it's been awful. Like, I haven't pulled a single thing. I pulled this Walter, a, a Nightmare. I pulled this Seth Rollins, also a Nightmare. And then I pulled a Bray Wyatt Shattered. And then the Shawn Michaels Shattered. And that is it. Besides for the Neon and Gothic. But that is all I have pulled from the draft board. And I have pulled none in packs. I think we've done, what, two TBGs now. I have pulled none in TBGs, none in packs, nothing. Just those four from the board and that's it. So no season seven. I don't know. I bring back the fusions. Now stuff that I have pulled recently going back all the way to the Thanksgiving fusion. This was right when I became swarm tier. I was three for 27 was the final count and only one pro which was the Otis. I only picked up one gobbledygooker two Otis's, so that was my first Swarm Pro. And then we had another Behemoth TBG. I still haven't pulled a Behemoth from the TBG, but uh, actually they're kind of helping me. The, the, the pulls haven't been the greatest. And just like with the first one, just like with this one, two Swarms, one Biomechanical. First one has a Boogeyman. And then we had a uh, Biomechanical Edge, which was a pro. The Boogeyman was a single. The Edge was a pro. And then we had my second Swarm Pro, which was Fandango. So we had uh, Otis, then Fandango within the next day. I think one right after another. And then I think the same day or maybe the next day, the Kofi Kingston down there was my pull after Naomi. Remember, Naomi was my uh, tier swarm tier reset. My freebie was Naomi. Then I pulled the Kofi Kingston. And then right after my second swarm pro, I pulled a Naomi off the board again for my third swarm pro, which was nice, a female. And then again, while I was grinding out the final couple hours of PvP, I pulled another female Candice LeRae. So that's three out of the four swarm pulls that I've had have been females. Now, even though that my pack luck isn't always the best i would have to say that same with last season and the season before that my pulls are typically mostly females for whatever reason my freebies and my pulls it usually comes out every single tier it feels like that i pull more females than i do males just the packs for me are just never good but still good pull and then just to show the last TBG that we did, another Behemoth TBG, we got another two Swarms and a Biomechanical. So every Behemoth TBG, I think that's three of them now, that uh, we pulled the exact same thing in the packs, which was two Swarm, one Biomechanical, Bianca Belair. I forgot, I pulled her on the draft board as well as a Biomechanical. I pulled her like a couple days ago. 
And then I pulled her in the pack, so that's another female, but just a biomechanical pro. Still helps though. So yeah, like I said, we are Swarm Plus Plus, and I think maybe, maybe if I get another Swarm Pro, I'm pretty sure if I got a female Swarm Pro that I would be able to make it into Behemoth. Because I still do have those five momentums, four male, one female for the momentums. And if I can make my second female a Swarm Pro, I think I can make that Behemoth tier, get the freebie. That would be really nice. But that's what the deck looks like right now. We only got the three Swarm Pros. Got like 20 Swarm Singles maybe, 15 or so Swarm Singles. But we're going to open up these PvP packs now uh, third time. Third time. I've never done it three times in a row gotten to uh tier seven got second in the league this time i think i'm in a pretty good league not the first place guy got like 40k but i got second and i was like maybe 2000 over the minimum for tier seven so it's not crazy i mean people aren't like going nuts i think the last one i think i got seventh or so and a lot of people played that one but not this one we got our five momentums Let's go, I guess we'll just go top down. Straight off the bat. Plus plus. Okay, best pack we can get. Now, like I said, this is the third one. The first one, the first tier 7 that we got in Season 7, we only got one Season 7 card, one single biomechanical. The second tier 7 that we got, we got two Season 7 cards, and two of them were biomechanical. So this is our third one now. Hopefully it's better than two biomechanical. I mean, that was garbage last time. And one more. Come on, man. Come on, guys. We got two biomechanicals in this one. I would have to say that out of all the packs, man, out of the, all the packs you earn, whether it be like opening with uh, PvP points or now super coins, um... The TBG packs, the ticket packs, I would say hands down, these are the worst packs in the game. These packs are terrible. Like, why can we never pull anything good in these packs? Drew McIntyre. Okay. So we only got, I mean, we only got two uh, season sevens, which is, I don't know. We got two of them last time, I guess, so... Maybe we're ahead of schedule. Here's the PvP plus pack. One more biomechanical. So maybe we're progressing ever so slowly. We got one in the first one, two in the second one, three in the third one. Another Drew McIntyre. So we got a pro. We got. That's not going to help us. Uh, we don't even need up arrows either. If I was going to put it in the Giants Unleashed deck, I actually don't even need up arrows. I need, I think I need right arrows is the one. Both male and female, I think I need right arrows only. Last pack for PvP. Why are these packs so bad? I don't know. I, I know that there are people that do pull good stuff in here. Just not, just not me. Okay. So... One for first week, two for second week, three for third week, all biomechanical. That's a lot of work for nothing. I mean, we do get the momentum slots, and those are helpful in a way, but uh, I don't know, man. I'd rather have the cards, you know? I'd rather have the cards. If I could switch them out for momentum spots, I would. I think I would. Uh, so we got four grand challenge packs, still no season seven, uh, Christmas cards or anything like that. But I mean, unless I could get a pro, I want to get to behemoth tier first. So, I mean, I wouldn't be upset if I just got a behemoth or something or got a swarm pro. What I really want, I guess is a swarm pro or a behemoth pro. But if I don't, then I'll take a Christmas card. We have four of them. The last two times we've done this, they've been good. They've been good. Not this time. Not the start of this one. Okay, Charlotte Flair. Uh, the, both of those I don't have, though. I don't have the Shawn Michaels. I don't have the Charlotte Flair. So neither one of those, or both of those were new cards. Okay. Two more SummerSlam 20s and another Charlotte Flair. 
We got two Drew McIntyres in the last one, and we got two uh, Charlotte Flares in this one. And we got a third Charlotte Flair. Um, okay, this seems a little weird. It seems a little weird, doesn't it? Three packs in a row with Charlotte Flair? And then a Nikki Cross. Woo! Well, uh, Supercard obviously feels like today is just not my day to get anything good at all. I'm going to have to say that compared to the previous like three or four videos, this 100% was probably the worst pack opening I've ever done. Considering, I mean, I didn't open very much, obviously, just the PvP and just four ticket packs. But that was still probably the worst I could have done. As far as super coins go, man, I've considered saving up uh, all the way and get this uh, Swerve Scott Pro. But I'm not sure that a male pro is going to get me into that behemoth tier. I think that a female would. And I've thought about doing the singles. But then again, I almost think it's probably the better idea to just stick it out. Save the super coins. Wait for behemoth to come out. I don't know. If, if behemoth doesn't... If Behemoth doesn't plan on coming out for singles for like another two months or something, then maybe I will spend them. But I don't know. I, I really don't know. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you did enjoy, man. Pack luck today. Terrible. Hopefully we get something in the TBG coming soon. Or I can pull, you know, some stuff on the draft board. But that's typically how it's always been for me. I mean, pulls... Are better than my packs sometimes my packs are okay but a lot of times my pulls are better than my packs hopefully everybody is having a good week i will see y'all again soon with the next event coming and obviously the new app supercard going over to the nba if uh you know you're interested we're obviously gonna do it you know, download it. Even if you don't watch basketball, if it's like Supercard, maybe you will enjoy it. I came from 2K originally and moved over to Supercard and started playing Supercard as well. So my original game was my NBA 2K. And then somebody on that, on my team, got me to come over to Supercard. And that's how I began playing Supercard. And I've enjoyed it ever since. So maybe you will too. But anyways, guys, I'll see you all later. I am out. Peace.